Hey, what's going on, Builders? Crow Sama here. So, first and foremost, I definitely am sorry that I'm using a white background for a white kit. Uh, I really didn't want to bust out the, the black background, and I don't really have any other better options. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to have, I just kind of like adjust the brightness, and hopefully you can see this appropriately, and you can see it all in its, uh, in its complete uh, state. So yeah, I'm, I'm not really trying to do anything like scripted. I'm, I'm really just going to talk a little bit about this kit, um, the process and, and what, where my mind was whenever I was building this. So I started the plans to build this kit back in uh, around November. Uh, so it's been quite a few months that, you know, I really just never got around to building this. And I, honestly, I was just lazy. Like I think around that time I was uh, painting and building another kit, uh, which was the, uh, the stylet custom that I did uh, but then you know at the same time I did have my my son uh, being born around March and then I left uh, in the next month to go to Okinawa so uh, there was a time frame where I really just did not have the available time to you know sit down and paint this kit uh, so that's just something that hey kind of is what it is but you know when I came back I was like you know what I really do want to start building this kit and I, I started the process I actually started uh, doing the priming and I, I started doing the uh, the coating the first coat for the uh, the white but you know what my airbrush was extremely bad uh, it was old it, it was very cheap and the white messed up uh, you really can't see it on camera uh, but if you look at like I don't know if the, I'm trying to think of the right word but it has like a rough surface because it was spitting uh, a lot of the paint out so I actually had no idea how to fix that. I tried a lot of different tutorials. Um, I don't have like a, a good, I didn't have a good, good compression system at the time uh, to where I can like adjust the PSI. So I was kind of, you know, SOL. Um, but yeah, overall I did manage to buy a new airbrush and I think the result came out a lot better. Now when painting this kit, I did want to try out some uh, some different techniques. Um, I've only shaded or pre-shaded one time before. So I was like, you know what, I, I want to do some shading on this kit. And I did attempt it. I, I did my best, but yeah, uh, because of the the airbrush that, you know, just messed up everything, um, well, at least it messed up the white parts, I really couldn't do the shading because the way the paint kind of went on, it really... It really didn't flow well with the shading like I couldn't get it the same way I got it to the stylet custom um, so I really just had to scrap the whole idea for uh, for any kind of shading and the shading underneath is actually blue so in some parts you can still see it um, like just a hint of it but you know you you're not really gonna see it like from a distance or maybe not even on this camera um, I don't know like I can kind of see it in certain uh, certain areas but uh, for the most part, it looks like it's a non-shaded kit. Now, the next technique I did try for the first time was actually uh, reverse washing. Never did it before in my entire life, but I decided I wanted to try it on this kit because it was a perfect opportunity. Uh, so, it really wasn't hard. It was significantly easier than what I thought. Um, but I do feel that I didn't do the best uh, of work. I, I think I, I probably could have... Um, you know did away with the black top a little bit better uh, so I did an enamel uh, white while well, I primed it black and then I did enamel white and then I did a lacquer uh, black and oh, sorry I did a lacquer white and enamel black on top uh, because uh, enamel doesn't eat through um, lacquer so uh, I basically just you know put the lacquer black on top and then uh, slowly kind of just you know got rid of all the black around the white parts and you know it didn't come out horrible but I obviously can you know improve in certain areas and lastly, another technique I did try out was uh, this kind of heated metal for the thrusters. Um, I really should have did some masking on the inside of the thrusters because a little bit of the uh, clear red uh, kind of rubbed off on the edges, mostly just like on this side right here. Uh, but, you know, it kind of is what it is. I think it adds to the whole heated look. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think it was horrible. I think it came out okay. Uh, but I do want to try out different colors. So I kind of went with just a violet uh, color uh, as like the base. And then I went with a clear red right over it. Um, but I think next time what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a clear orange and then clear yellow. 
uh, just to see how that looks. I think that would be a little bit more cool, but I didn't want the thrusters to be the biggest standout point of the kit, so I felt like this color was really going to blend in a little bit better with the overall um, completed you know, build. Uh, but if I would have went with like the yellow and orange initially, I, I think it would have been a little bit too much. Um, I, I think people's eyes just would have would have gravitated directly to that, and I don't think that's what I want on this kit. Uh, I really wanted the kit to kind of be. I, I wanted your eyes to explore uh, instead of like your eyes going to one focal point, just looking all over uh, to kind of examine it. You know, that's that's that was the goal. So I didn't really want any bright colors, kind of like super sticking out i know the blue kind of is the most like you know contrast thing on the kit because of the fact that everything else is white and black uh but yeah for the most part i, I do think these thruster effects uh came out okay a little bit of mess up here and there uh but i definitely can improve next time now i really don't want to move it too much and do it in like any kind of crazy poses because uh i'm very fearful that i'm going to scratch up the paint that's kind of like my luck um, but the uh, the weathering that's another thing I did try on this kit. Um, I did some chipping and I, I Started to do a wash and this is my biggest mistake on like actually I'll say this is my second biggest mistake because spray painting the white uh, on this kit was my my biggest mistake uh, But I tried to do a wash but very subtly and it just got messy um, if you notice so this arm has kind of like this brushed on like dirt or not dirt, but it's kind of like um, it just it looks it looks disgusting it looks it looks stupid um so i was trying to go and use some weathering uh oil that like i have which is this right here mr weathering color so i was trying to use this more into the crevices and not like on the base part uh but i was using a brush and a lot of it just kind of leaked and I, I was trying to wipe it away and i did use a top coat uh but it, it really just not was not working so i need to relearn how to like properly apply this uh because in the past i've been able to do it with straight builds no problem uh, but i have not been using this for uh actual painted builds so that's something i'm going to have to uh, really learn and perfect my technique but yeah that arm just kind of looks weird and um I don't know, the best thing I can do is just really ignore it. Uh, I think everything else in terms of the chipping, it could have been better. Um, I think I, sh I tried to apply different colors, so you see maybe a little bit of silver um, in, in with all that chipping. And I did use navy blue instead of using black. I think black would have been too loud. Uh, so I used the navy blue to kind of be a little bit more, um, I don't know, toned down with the kit. And uh, I, I might have went a little bit too heavy. Um, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm still learning all these different techniques, uh, but yeah, it's it's kind of is what it is. That's, that's like the best thing I can really sum it up with. And then of course the red right there in the thrusters, I did mess up that as well because uh, I you know very ignorantly did not mask off uh, a lot of the white parts. Uh, I should have just like cut out some little masking tape. Uh, so that way when I did go over it, it would have been fine. I should have airbrushed it, uh, but instead I just use, you know, I use some basic hand, uh, hand painting skills that I have. Uh, and it got a little messy. I tried to thin it up as much as I can so that way it really just flowed smoothly in there. And for the most part it did, but there's a couple of areas where it just kind of like ran or um, it really just didn't. It wasn't as smooth as I was trying to make it uh, to be. So uh, maybe maybe it could have been my thinning ratio, but um, you know, in the future, I'm just gonna mask it and then I'm gonna uh, airbrush it. It's gonna look a lot better in my opinion, but uh, thank God the, uh, the two coats I did, like so I did two different coats and I tried to clean up the excess uh, you know, red as much as I could, uh, but then I did a clear coat because I started doing a lot of the um, the uh, weathering and I started doing a lot of the uh, the decals and after that I did a top coat just to seal everything in so I, I think with that it, it did come out a little bit better because the the top coat really just seals it all in and it doesn't look as messy from at least a distance but if you put your eye directly on it it is going to look pretty bad now lastly I'm just going to talk about the uh, the decals there's really not too much on this kit uh, really I just wanted to uh, make it very subtle so you're not gonna see too many on this kit at all. Um, the main places I, I really just kind of focused on uh, was the legs. I did a, uh, quite a few on the arms, uh, mostly the shoulders to be honest. Um, I did a little bit on the chest. I did like one decal on the head. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I really didn't want to just riddle this thing with decals. I don't, 
I don't like kits that are just like a completely red dotted mobile suit. I want to see the colors and I might overly decal a straight build, uh, but when it comes to my, my actual painted builds, I, I kind of put a little bit more care into it and I just feel the, the less amount of decals that you put on it, it, it really just makes it um, I don't know it makes it more appealing in some kind of way and, and it's, this is definitely only me that's really saying this I'm not pulling this from anyone else I'm not pulling this from a book um, but this in my opinion it looks a lot better with a um, minimum amount of de decals now I probably could have put some here and there in other little areas um, but I was like you know what I really just feel that less is more that's kind of like my rule of thumb um, so I I'm gonna just do experimental things in the future but yeah I, I feel like what I did was fine um, this was a kit I really wanted to build and even after uh, painting the white and getting super frustrated after painting that uh, that white on here I really just sucked it up and I was like you know what hey you know Dennis you can definitely do a lot better and uh, that's what I felt like I did I, I did a lot better than my last painted build even though there were mistakes that happened and uh, that's kind of like my my thoughts and what my advice would be for any builder out here is you can always do better. Don't just settle that you are, you know, mediocre. Don't settle that, you know, I, I'm only going to have this certain technique in my, uh, in my builds. You can drastically improve because if I put this next to my first painted build, it's basically night and day. And um, I, I really like that. And, I, and when I do a lot of my painted builds, I do compare it to my first build. Uh, because I think I beat myself up a little bit too much, uh, but if I just really look at the progress from one build to another, I do think that there, you know, there were steps. There were a lot of steps that I did take and I did accomplish uh, when just progressing in this hobby. Because uh, you can definitely build model kits as a collection. You can just build in, you know, enjoy the build process and just put it on a shelf and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever uh, I think for the most part that is what I do as well uh, but there are times times um, that I really want to do something a little bit extra to make myself uh, stand out a little bit more and that's you know I think that's fine too uh, I'm never gonna I don't think I'm ever gonna be in the realm of like GBWC uh, contestants I'm never gonna be in the realm of a lot of uh, big name youtubers that you know primarily only do painted builds uh, which is fine because I have my own style and I have my own kind of uh, process when it comes to these you know kits that I build uh, but yeah once again I, I did learn some things and I'm going to continue to learn and I would love to keep, uh, continue to share all my painted builds with you guys so that's pretty much it for me uh, definitely appreciate all of you for watching um, you know if you do have any kind of opinions or any kind of critiques I'm always open ears I, I would love well I guess open eyes uh, but I would love to see your comments um, in you know in the comment section below or if you want to PM me that's fine too uh, but let me know what I what I could do better uh, I would say best thing that you can possibly do is send me links to other resources, websites, uh, YouTube videos. Um, I do watch a lot of like paint on plastic uh, from Lincoln. Um, I also watch a lot of Zako Oriel stuff. So, uh, you know, I already have a good portfolio on my YouTube channel, like a, you know, a secret playlist uh, for different techniques and how to perfect them. Uh, but if you do have any, you know, definitely share them with me and I would, you know, gladly watch them or uh, read up on the materials because I am trying to perfect myself and become a better builder. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. Definitely. I, I really appreciate you for watching. I think, I, I think this video definitely ran on a little bit longer than what I was expecting, but um, yeah, I really appreciate all of you for, you know, sticking with me uh, through this video and just hearing my thoughts on this kit and, you know, just seeing this, you know, borderline monstrosity, but also kind of a interesting look at the Sananju. Um, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate all you for watching. And like always, like, comment, and subscribe if you can. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.